So the next strap is one of my essential bits of kit. It's become a bit of a joke over the years, but it's very much started off as being something that only William Foxpit ever used. But now there are a few more people out there with them on, and um, there's a bit of kit that's very much, very much appreciated. Um, but it took a while. It took a while. I always remember when I was a youngster that um, David Green came up to me once and said, um, "For goodness sake, when will you grow up and not need to have to hold, no, hold on with a neck strap?" And I was, I was mortally offended. I think I was 18 or 19, and I, I really did think, is, that, is it really that bad? But it was something that I grew up with. Um, my mother would never have let me ride without one. She was a real one for not interfering with a horse's mouth, and she felt the best way to do that was to hold on to neck strap and not the reins. And of course, she is, she is dead right. Um, not so easy to do, but you know, if anything goes wrong, horse shoots off, you can grab the neck strap to go with him, you haven't got to always um, block him up with a hand. So that's really how it all started. And now it's just become a bit of kit that I wouldn't even leave the start box without it. I wouldn't feel that I was dressed. I might never hold on to it for a whole course from the moment of starting. But if I'm walking around the start, horse is slightly lively, I might just have a finger in it just so I'm with him. And I think the, the greatest thing about it is it does teach you, it does make you get your hands forward, so your hands are forward and with the horse, and then you're going. I think very often, particularly younger riders, the hands get back and they get a longer rein, and they get more and more in a defensive position. But the, the, the neck strap gives you something there to get used to the hands being forwards. And um, it is something that I often do wear with um, a breastplate. A breast, breastplate sometimes comes too far back, whereas this is right in the right place. I might have it in, instead of a, if I don't have a martingale, I've got a martingale on, I'd make sure the martingale was in the right place. Otherwise, I'd have this on um, as an extra. And um, it's quite funny, really. I'm not, I'm not a trend setter. I've never set a trend in my life. But I would say that the breastplate um, martingale attachment has been something um, that I will be remembered for. I put it on the map. One thing now is that the FEI have stipulated that if you do wear an X strap, it has to be attached to your saddle or to somewhere so it can't actually go over the horse's head. And that might be something that um, I wouldn't agree with. I've never had an X strap go over the head um, in my career. Um, but you know, that is, that is a thought now that it could happen and therefore to make sure that it's totally safe, you have to have it attached. But I would say it's still very important that you have it in the right place and don't end up with the neck strap in the wrong place because of its attachment.